So let's just go ahead and do a sketch first. And because I don't know what color it's for what, so I will just draw everything in black first. So this right here, 1 over 4x. So this is a line like this. This is y equals 1 over 4x. Next, 2x, so slope is higher, so it looks like this. y equals 2x. Now, 4 over x, it's a higher per hyperbola like this. And then 1 over x is the smaller one. Uh, actually, let me put on y equals 4 over x, and then 1 over x, it will look like this. Look at this thing. This is the region that we are talking about. This is the region that we are talking about. How do we find the, the area of this region? Just think about in Calc 1. How do we set up integrals? If we do horizontal rectangles, uh, changes, changes. Vertical rectangles, changes, changes. So we are totally stuck on this. Don't worry. There's something called a Jacobian that's going to help us. And the purpose of the Jacobian is to help us to change this crazy region to a much better region. So I have all this equation written in terms of y being isolated, but if we don't do that, then you can see this right here, it's the same as saying y over x is equal to 1 over 4, and then divide the x on both sides, y over x is equal to 2, and then multiply the x on both sides, so x, y equals 4, and then lastly, x, y equals 1. Guess what? This, this, similar this this similar so what we are going to do is i'm going to call this to be let's just say u i will say that u equal y over x yeah and then right here i will just call this right here to be v v equals x y so this right here will be the change of variable that we have so now I have to pick this right here. What we have to do is, we will have to get x and y in terms of u and v. So how do we do that? Mm, just solve system of equations. Multiply the x on both sides, so we know this right here tells us y equals x times u. And then I will just put this right here for that. So that will give us v equals x times y, which is x u, which is x squared, u. Yes, v equals x squared u. x squared equals v over u. Divide the u on both sides. And then we see that x is equal to, I'll just take the square root of v over square root of u. Everything's positive, so don't worry about the domain and all that stuff. Don't worry. Yeah. So that's that. And then x is this, so I'll put it here, so this means y equals square root of v over square root of u times u, and this and that can be reduced, so this right here tells us y equals square root of v and u. What we want to do next is, we want the, this integral to be in terms of u and v after the transformation. And to make that happen, we have to get the so-called Jacobian. Okay, this right here use the determinant notation. Now this time the bar the bar is not the absolute value; it's just the determinant. So we will do partial x, partial u, and then partial x, partial v, and then partial y, partial u, partial y, partial v. And again, this is the determinant notation. To make this easier to differentiate, I'm going to write the following. I will write this as a power notation, which is u to the negative one half, and then v to the positive one half. And then for the y, I will write it as u going first, positive one half, and then positive one half. And hope for the best. There we go. Partial x with respect to u, so look at this, the differentiate, put the power to the front, so we have negative 1 over 2, and then minus 1, so we have u to the negative 3 over 2, and this thing just stays, so like that. Now do this with respect to v, so put the 1 half to the front, so we have 1 half, this thing stays, 
V and then minus one, so minus that. And then now do this with respect to U, we have one half U negative one half, and this thing stays. And now do this thing with respect to V, one half U to the one half, and then V to the negative one half. Okay, this times this, negative, negative. No, negative positive, so it's negative one over four. Yeah, this V cancel. U to the negative three half times U to the one half is U to the negative one. Okay, U to the negative one. And then we do this times that, but it's a minus in between. One half, one half is one over four. This and that is u to the negative one. And uh, this and that, uh, they cancel, so we have this. And we can combine them. Negative one fourth minus one fourth is negative one half. And then we have u to the negative one. Yes. You think we are done? No, we are not. This is just a Jacobian, it's just So what exactly are we doing, right? Yeah, don't worry. Now, integral, integral, still that function e, but x, y, hmm, is like the v. So we have negative v, and then over two. I'm going to just put down d u d v. Originally, it's like supposed to be like d x d y d y d x. No, d u d v much better. But we also need this thing. And remember, this is just a Jacobian. We need the absolute value. And then negative one half, and we have u to the negative one. So that's the dy dx part. And to set it up like this, then u goes first. So u starts with what? Our u is this. So it goes from one over four to one, I mean to two. So I would just say u goes from one over four to two. And then v, you see, v is x, y, so it goes from one to four. So v goes from one to four. Oh, by the way, that will just make this positive and then u goes from this to that, so it's positive anyway, so don't worry about the absolute value of u to a negative one. You see this thing has no u here. So we can actually break them apart into two integrals. So I'm going to do this, this one first. So v is equal to one to four, and I'll just do get e to the negative v over two, dv. And then the other one, I will just multiply it with u going from one over four to two. And uh, I'll just do get Absolute value of one half is just absolute value of negative one half, just one half, and then we really don't need to worry about the absolute value for because you know one one over four to two du. And then the good thing is if you integrate this, integrate that, multiply it, you get the answer. Integrate this, we have e to the negative v over two, but we will have to divide it by the derivative of this, which is divided by negative one over two, which is the same as multiplied by negative two, and then we go from one to four. Let's focus on this right here first. So put 4 in here, we get negative 2, e, that's negative 2, and then we subtract, but that's a negative, so it becomes plus. Put a 1 in here, we get 2, e to the negative 1 half. Yeah, that's that. This thing, 1 half, ln, u, and we go from 1 over 4, that's ready as 2 to the negative 2, and then 2 is just 2. <laughs> Put 2 in here, we get 1 half ln 2, and then just minus 1 half ln 2 to the negative 2. But you see, this negative 2 can go to the front. So that's that. And um, I can do the blue part li a little bit more. This is one half ln two becomes plus, and um, that's gone. And then we have just ln two. 
which is 3 over 2 ln 2. So this is the blue part. And then the this part is still this. This 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 cancel and then let's put a 3 back here to the power. So ladies and gentlemen, we get negative e to the negative 2 plus e to the negative 1 half times ln 8.